Welcome friends, my name is Skylight and this is going to be my top 10 best online browser games list. Hopefully you enjoy the games here and if you're looking to play browser games, do know that I ranked these games for those same reasons of why you want to play a browser game in the first place. You're looking to play with friends or family really easily. You want a game that's accessible. It's pretty intuitive. It also, you know, probably aesthetically looks well while at the same time not being very intensive graphically so it can actually run on any machine. Yes, for every reason why you'd want to play a browser game, these browser games work in tandem. Not only that, but they're actually just very legitimate games in their own right. Now, I have personally played each of these games extensively, and I enjoyed every single one, which is why I'm recommending them to you, friends. Some of them aren't completely released yet, and at the same time, some of them are actually extremely old, maybe even some would say dated. But at the same time, there really isn't much competition for these games in their respective genres. They are the kings of what they do, and they do it best. I mean, that's simple as that. However, what's not so simple and can actually be really complicated in a genre that really shouldn't be is the fact that even though it's a browser game, sometimes the browser games don't actually play on all browsers. So I will mention which exact browsers that these games play on so that you can easily access them and as well if they play on other platforms such as Steam or consoles. But yeah guys, with that in mind, it's true to the nature of browser games. We're going to keep this top 10 light, casual, and fast. Hopefully you enjoy the video and also the games. Pick a game, pick a friend, and have fun. Starting the list at number 10, we have a game called Treasure Arena. This is a light arena game that feels like it would probably perfectly fit well inside a Legend of Zelda title, like a mini game, sort of, if it wasn't a fully multiplayer game, and it is, and it's mayhem, it's crazy. A few classes, a couple of pickups, some nice arenas, really, it's a pure childish fun overall. Works in all browsers, actually, Steam, PS4, and also on Xbox One. Now the game in our ninth slot is going to be a game called Drakensang. Standing the test of time, this online action RPG has been aging well with an expanding feature set and overall timeless core gameplay. Against its competition as a browser game, that is, nothing else really compares to the polish. And while it is truly a light ARPG, it hits all the right spots you would want for a pick-up-and-play role-playing game. It can be played in any browser that has or allows Java plugins, and it also can be downloaded for PC. Next up on our list for browser-based online games, gotta be Realm of the Mad God. This is a bullet hell, open world, MMORPG with a one life system. It kind of makes this one of the more chaotic and fast paced games on the list, absolutely. Open party questing, world bosses, and action combat make playing with others not only easy, but incredibly rewarding and fun. Extremely low intensity graphics allow this game to be played by anyone really on almost any machine, though because of the style of game, it being bullet hell and incredibly fast paced, a decent internet connection or Wi-Fi connectivity is required. It can be played on any system with Java or you can download it on Steam. Number 7 on our list is going to be a little bit different, comparatively. This is the Attack on Titan fan game by Feng. This is one of the most niche titles on this list, as it does require a very good connection and also a pretty freaking strong machine, but still, guys, stick with me. The sheer ingenuity of this game and the uniquity of its gameplay makes this an absolute must try. Based off of the popular anime and manga Attack on Titan or Shingeki no Kyojin, this game attempts to match the show's balletic Spider-Man-esque combat, and it does succeed. Though, it also does have a learning curve to master. Fight Titans along potentially dozens of other players, or you can even play as a Titan yourself. This runs in Java. Next on our list, we have a game called Little War Game. If you're interested at all in RTS, the real-time strategy genre, or maybe even just a passing curiosity, Little War Game would be the game to try, and also to get others to try and attempt to learn and appreciate the genre. Inspired from older RTSs, this game gives you the tools for both competition and creativity with replays and map making already in the game, plus they have consistently streamed tournaments. Cute, yeah, graphics and low-end pixel art with a fair netcode, anybody can enjoy this game from novices to experts. Also, fantastically enough, it works in every popular browser. Now halfway on our list we have a beloved game of mine, it is a game called Tag Pro. This is a game that can appeal to pretty much anybody, and understood, absolutely, anywhere regardless of prior gaming knowledge or their age. You are a ball, <laughs> and your teammates are also balls, and the enemies are balls, and everybody is scrambling around to capture the other team's flag. 
block other players from touching your flag or pop them once they do. Maybe even activate a trap or slam them into it. Lots of potential can come out of this game even when it's such a simple concept. It also works in all browsers. Moving on with our list into the Big Bad 4, we have Prismata. This is a turn-based RTS in the shape of a card game. Not fully released as of now, but there is a fully fun and playable alpha available that you can try. This is a very complicated game, and despite its appearances, it does not have a CCG deck-building mechanic like the, you know, art would suggest, but rather players have to reactively plan build orders and reactively participate in the matches depending on what's played in turns. Really, it's an RTS that just looks like a card game, not the other way around. It can be played with Java-enabled browsers. And number three is gonna be RuneScape, the atlas of browser-based MMOs. This is still one of the most popular games out there, with a pretty freaking wide audience appeal. The game does require a stronger machine at the moment, but soon an engine update will alleviate that issue. RuneScape requires a subscription to access the full title, but honestly, the free-to-play component of the game is satisfactory and rewarding for a time. Aging, but still charming. Can be played in Java-enabled browsers, as well as downloaded on PC. Absolutely earning its spot at number two, we have a game called Duelist. Now, Duelist is the newest game in a wave of emerging titles within the genre of multiplayer tactical CCG. And so far, it's the most polished and refined. Duelist very much feels like if Hearthstone were to have a playing board, pretty much, and that's, yeah, that's it. Engaging single-player challenges as well, an epic variety of deck-building possibilities, and gorgeous pixel art mixed with digital paint. This is one of the few card games where every turn feels potentially explosive and impactful. As of right now, the game can be downloaded on PC and also works in browsers. And now my personal pick for the best online browser game, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it to agar.io. So if you haven't heard of it, you know, you live under a rock, uh, basically you play as a blob in an open, flat, you know, very simplistic world with dozens of other blobbies and you're all just kind of trying to survive. Yeah. Yeah, well, once you lose your contempt with just not getting eaten by the bigger blobbies, uh, you can begin your conquest by devouring other smaller blobs and climb your way up to the top of the leaderboard. I mean, food chain. Another deceptively simple game that actually holds a lot of depth when considering when to take the risk to split your blob, when to run or eat, and especially when adding in the factor of team play. It really is a simple and clean game that epitomizes the kind of title that someone is looking for when looking at an online browser game. It works in all browsers and can even be played on mobile devices. And before we finish the list, I do want to give a shout out to all of the Agar.io clones out there like Snake.io and such. They're actually all pretty interesting, every single one of them. Clean, simple, fun, and they're all just as easily accessible. But Agar.io, I have to really give the spotlight to because it was kind of like the father of all of them. So there you go. And that's it guys, that's the end of our top 10 best online browser games. Hopefully you do have fun with these games. Hope you have fun with the video as well. Now if there's any games you wanna give a shout out to, or maybe we missed a game or two, please leave it in the comments below and let us know. And yeah, if you did have fun here, please subscribe. I got lots of top 10s planned. I've got lots of Let's Play-ish kind of stuffs and just, you know, random other gaming goodness. It's called Skyland Games, what do you expect? So expect me, expect some games, and hopefully I expect to see you again soon.